Nope, what's cracking, y'all? Holy dick, finally a freaking truck vision for you sons of dicks. I've never in my entire YouTube career heard so much bitching and complaining because there hasn't been a truck vision in like three weeks, two weeks. Good net, y'all. So here freaking is. First of all, let me explain. I was down in Florida and South Carolina fishing and hunting. The important shit. But all you wanted to see is me put tires on my gosh dang truck. You simple dicks. <laughs> Just kidding. Nothing wrong with that. I'm excited to be back. Do more truck vengeance for y'all. And uh, we got one for you today because some shit got done. Last time y'all saw this son bitch. There wasn't freaking, uh, there was the old tires on this bitch because we didn't have the wheels, in, uh, the wheels in yet to mount them and put them on. So we're gonna show you that today. But first, when I was gone, dang the man canic and good old freaking fat boy. That's me. <laughs> uh, they got together, they filmed some footage and shit like that of them doing some stuff. What'd you guys do, dang? Come here, dang. Come on, you backwoods badass. Look at this shirt, man. Get one, keep it hibbly.com. Check it out, the link description below. Okay, what'd you guys do, Dan? We we kind of put some parts on and stuff. And you get you did the wheel the you mounted the wheels and tires. Yeah, yeah. And then what else did you brake lines? Brake. We did the brake lines. We did the wheels and tires. Uh, bled the brakes. He had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, he got his leg work out. <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun. Did, I told that something. Did not I skip like, leg day. He did skip leg. <laughs> I said you better not skip leg day when I'm gone. He he didn't. Thanks to you, man. So uh, yeah, we're gonna roll that footage of them right now. When we get back, we'll give y'all a look around. And then we might take it for a test drive. All right, see you in a minute. All right, folks. You got old fat boy here. And you got good old Dan down here. ODM, man. ODM. ODM? Outlaw's dang mechanic. That's right. <laughs> now, you can see, we ain't got no outlaw. Because that little SOB down in Florida fishing, having time of his life. And we're down here working. Half his brake lines were rusted. The nut was rusted to the line. So when I went to take them off, it just broke the line off, so now I gotta bend up a couple new hard brake lines for him. Yeah. Get this some bitch to stop sometime. Yeah. Kind of forking right there. If you guys don't like the quality of this video, put your complaints in the comment to Outlaw. She took his good cameras and left this old one that he used to use, so <laughs> you know to complain to. It's not our fault. We're just the grunt workers. And here's your guys' first look. Look at those sexy rims right there. And those suckers, whoo, one of them big ass tires with those rims, it's going to look good. It'll look better than some hot cakes on a cold winter morning, tell you what. Alright, we got rear brakes done, got a nice new braided steel cable on there. Still got a couple things to do as far as tightening it all up so it works good, but for now they're hooked up and if we put fluid in it, it would stop. We hope. It's, it's only outlaw anyway, we'll just give it to him and let him. Yeah, he can. Work. <laughs> Who needs to stop? Why do you need to stop? Just step on the gas, right? Exactly. <laughs> Yellow! End outlaws for the last day. Got to get his front brakes hooked up. New brake lines on and all that. Get that truck rolling. We're going to have some fun with it later. Dun 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 Say hi, Uncle Jared. Say hi, Uncle. Hi, Uncle. <laughs> All right, so these stupid brake line ends weren't the right shape to fit in the calipers. These are, you can see how it's kind of a circle where the brake line has to fit. When they showed up, they were rectangles. So I had to do some grinding on them and I was trying to do it on my leg, but we decided to get a little bit smarter about it. C-clamp. There we get that brake line done. And if you can tell right there, got some bailing wire, hold that brake line in place. It's a real redneck truck now. Freaking rusty piece of crap. <laughs> we went to break the bleeder screw loose 
and it just snapped off just like everything else on this fucking truck I had to fight it in battle and this truck has been fighting me the whole way so now he's got new calipers see how nice and look at that that's pretty and gray it is it's not like brown rust color yeah that's how it's supposed to look freaking outlaw time to bleed them brakes no <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Bump it. Bump it. All right, dang. We got it's her done, it's man. It's all done. It's good to go. You know, it's a nice little project, you know. And thank to you know tomorrow, you know, go down and get the tires put on and bring it back. You know back. what, dude? No. What? Fuck this. What? I put all the work into this what? fucking thing. I'm taking it home. It's my truck now. It's what? not outlaws. It's my truck now. Let's what? see you later. What the hell are you doing? No, Dan, come back. See ya. Dan, you're my ride. What the hell's going on? Um, Dan? You're just joking, right? Dan? Shit, there it is. Just got the wheels and tires on. Freaking thing is looking sick. I tell you what. Ready? Get you some of this. Pow! Gosh, dang, that truck looks so good. Woo! Sexy. Like, like we said, you know, it made it like three and a half or four inches taller. So. Got to be a little athletic to get in it. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't see you guys there. Am I looking good? All right. Laters. All right, folks. Fat boy here. Guess what? The engine showed up for that K20 of Outlaws. You gotta get the first look. He hasn't even seen this thing yet. Oh, you guys know, he told me to screw with you. So here it goes, boys. You're gonna see exactly what I'm gonna show Outlaw, right? That's all I'm gonna show Outlaw. It's right there. He's gonna have to wait till he gets back to see the rest. Don't know if you want me to open this or not. I don't give a damn. That's what we've all been waiting for. Look at that. 383 stroker. I'm going to have to, you know, admire that thing. Get a nice little stroke. Oh, yeah. Stroke the stroker. You know, you all do the same. Bye. All right, y'all. Here we go. Let's do a walk around of the gosh dang freaking truck. You guys I want my truck flash. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here we go, walk around to the freaking truck. Let's do it! Here we go. Okay, so last time you saw it, like I said, we had the old tires, old wheels, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at these sons of bitches first. Come over here, fat boy. These are Neato. Neato, whatever you want to say. I always like to say Neato because I think they look Neato. <laughs> um, these are Neato Mud Grapplers. Extreme terrain. These are 37 inch tires. We got the fuel revolver wheels. Like I said, when I was going to pick out wheels for this son bitch, I was going to do old school, but everybody does old school wheels with these, you know, old square body Chevy. So I was like, man, I want to do something with old school and new school in the same, you know, the same kind of deal. These are a soft eight look, even though that's more like a soft nine because there's nine holes here, I think. I should count that before I say, but I'm pretty sure there's nine. There's nine. <laughs> okay. And uh, so it's kind of like an old school look, but I think they look killer with the truck. Got a little bit of chrome offset look to it because we got some chrome accents on the truck. So uh, these are fuel revolver wheels. Like I said, these are 20 inch rims. 
Um, I was going to go a little bit smaller, but I think with the bigger tire, they look decent. So I think they look pretty good. Um, these are lock-in hubs. This just pops off right here. And, uh, and you got the lock-in hubs right there. As well as the back, we were able to hide the, uh, the big sub bitch in the back as well with these, these hubs. So. And then one more thing. There's a lot of... When I tried to find a nice offset for the wheels, I couldn't find any pictures, any diagrams, or anything like that. So I just guessed and I said I wanted a negative 24 offset. And uh, that's what this is right here. Now negative 44, you know, it sit, the, the wheel sits a lot more back. So the tire sticks out a little bit more. I wanted a little bit better stance. So that's why I went with a negative 24 offset. And uh, I think it looks pretty gosh dang good, man. Let me try to get up in this son bitch here, okay? So it's up to my hip. The bottom of the door panel is up to my freaking hip. It's about, we calculate what, four or five inches higher than the bourbon? Yeah. It is a pain in the dick. So you gotta uh, get on, it. Hang on, You gotta right. let someone more athletic try this first, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh. See what his shirt oh. says? Oh. Backwoods, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make those such bitches. <laughs> fat Boy's website, fatboy.com. <laughs> Gosh! Dang, man. That'll be an Olympic sport right there. <laughs> that is, man. Truck jumping. I can't even believe we took the sway bar off this son bitch because we did the lift. We weren't going to be able to use the old sway bar. Dude, I can't believe how good it rides with this. I mean, most people take the sway bars off anyways, you know, when you're off-roading and shit, so you have more, uh, more, uh, suspension travel. Suspension travel. Couldn't think of the word. But, um, we took it off and it rides freaking nice down the road, man. It's, and we didn't even, we didn't even get it aligned yet, by the way. And they're like, they look perfectly straight, dude. I can't believe it. Straighter, straighter than my uncle, that's for sure. I don't know, I don't got a gay uncle or anything like that. Sure. He's probably voting for Hillary. By the way, these are 13 and a half uh, inch wide tires. So the bourbon has 12 and a half inch wide. So you can just see the, uh, the difference there in tires. About one inch difference, right? That's what uh, she said. <laughs> that's what she said between me and Fat Boy. One inch difference. <laughs> Four inches and five inches. That's right. <laughs> Dang, tune that carburetor perfect. So now it starts up first turn, baby. Thanks, Dang. You to me. <laughs> so here is a rundown on what we're going to be doing with this son bitch soon. Okay, we got the wheels and tires on. One thing that I was pissed off about when I get back, they put the tires on backwards. Well, I mean, they didn't put them on backwards. You can put them on either way. But on the other side wall, there's like gator snake skin, and uh, that's supposed to be sticking out. That's the cooler looking part. So when I go in to get this tinted in the next couple days, which we'll film, of course, we're filming everything with this sub bitch. Don't you worry about that, all right? Uh, I'm gonna ask them to freaking flip that son bitch because they look cooler with the other sidewall. So the tent that I'm gonna be doing, I don't think I'm gonna do 5% because if we're freaking mudding and shit at night, I don't wanna not be able to see shit. So I think we're gonna do 10%. Like that's any better, right? Don't need to throw this t-shirt over the windshield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think we're gonna do 10%. It's dark enough. I think it'll look good. It'll give it a nice freaking look from the outside as well. So I think we're gonna do 10. We're gonna do a tent strip in the front so the mother trucker pops on the front too. So it should be pretty sweet. We're getting that done in the next couple days. Um, oh my gosh, the freaking motor, dude. Oh, we got a 383 stroker up in this son bitch. When that's put in, this son bitch will get over 500 gosh dang horsepower. Especially after I put my special touches on. Oh, dude, his special touches, dude. We're getting all types of special parts, man. Hey, give me a rundown of kind of what we're probably going to be doing to this son bitch. Swapping to electric fan so you don't have that drag on the motor. Electric fuel pump. Swapping to electric fuel pump. Get more fuel to the carburetor, get more power out of that. We're gonna do a serpentine belt freaking uh, conversion. All the pulleys are gonna be built aluminum, clear powder coated, so they're gonna look nice and like they're chromed out basically and offset some of the black we got on the motor. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look sweet. Better cooling, better, it'll be able to handle the power better without slipping and losing your alternator and all that stuff. Serpentine belt conversion. So you're gonna get better cooling with the pulley they give you and the whole setup they give you there. Yep. We're gonna throw a new clutch in there so that the transmission can actually lock onto this powerful son bitch. Yes, sir. A lot of people say about gearing too. You need to re-gear this son bitch. Right now, I'm not worried about that. This is a 14 bolt son bitch, so these 14 bolts can handle up to 44 inch freaking tires, man. So they ain't too bad. We will re-gear it down the road, probably 
but uh, right now it doesn't need it. And trust me, we're gonna have plenty of power to push this baby down the road. Plenty! The freaking motor that we got in, it's in the garage right now, but I'm gonna do that in the next gosh dang video. It's freaking sexy, dude. We got it painted. It's all chromed out in black. Looks freaking tits, dude. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what do we got in that stuff? We got roller cams, we got a holly roller car. Cams, roller rockers, ro uh, freaking hydraulic lifters. Four barrel holly carburetor. We got into the internal shit. Let's go to the external. Like I said, new bumper's gonna be happening up here. Let's go back up here. Oh yeah, these freaking mirrors, man. They ain't gonna work. I think we're gonna need to put some bigger toe mirrors on this bitch or something like that. The old school kind, not that new school bullshit, but uh, we're gonna put some chrome freaking toe mirrors on here, the old school style. Uh, we'll get that done. I think I'm gonna go with a cow hood, man. A little pop-up over there. Maybe we'll do a new freaking air intake or something like that. Have it pop up. Have the freaking cow hood or something like that. So probably gonna be, be doing that along. as well. Huh? It's gonna be mooing along. It's gonna be mooing? <laughs> cow. Cow hood. A cow. Uh, I'll try to enunciate. We're gonna have two cow power. I might do a new bumper. I don't know. We're gonna freaking see here. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Should I go with it? If I get the new back bumper, you know, of course, I want it to be the same color as the front. So do I want to go with chrome or do I want to go with black? What's y'all freaking think? Yeah, I personally, I think yeah, I go with yellow. Uh, with we'll the black, this some bitch out. Freaking like I said, the tint. What else, dang? What else, man? Lights. Oh yeah, lights, dude. If we're gonna be mud at night, we better have some lighting we on this bitch. Gosh dang light. <laughs> I think that's freaking it, man. Anything else you guys can think of, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to tell me, oh, you should have done this. You should have gone with the 454. Oh, man, you should have done this. You should have gone with an LS motor. Bitch, everybody does LS motors in these freaking old vehicles, man. I want to keep it old school, bro. Go with the 383 stroker, bitch. Ugh. I think that'll do it for today. Hope y'all enjoyed this truck video that you've been wanting so freaking bad. If you guys been wanting some more, let me know in the comments. We'll definitely have some more up for you soon. Like I said, this week we'll get a freaking tent and uh, motor vigil going for y'all. We're gonna freaking order some parts, get them in, and uh, start working on the sun bitch. Other than that, I think that's freaking it. Hey y'all, my name is Outlaw, and I'm out, y'all. And always remember, no matter what you're doing, just like this freaking truck is every gosh dang day, 25, 8, 366, always keep it freaking hip.